Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. It is Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day, Sophie! <laughs> Sophie's the first one up and we always buy the kids just something little tiny for Valentine's Day. But Sam cheated and bought her this big huge box. I think I know what this is. But knowing Amazon, it's probably something tiny in there. Probably a squish box. Oh, it's great. You have a little knife on your keychain yeah, there. So for us, Valentine's Day is just about like chocolate. A little bit of chocolate, not too much. Right. Oh my gosh, it's a giant. It's a squishmallow. This is right. It's a squishmallow. Sophie still collects toys. And you know, Sam still collects toys. It's just in them. I don't know, he doesn't ever let me throw out toys. He's always like, let's keep the toys. He still buys toys. Remember about that Star Wars toy? Oh. I was right, and Dad knew that. That's the cow. Me. Sophie loves cows. It's actually really cute. Let's see. It seems like it's made out of a better material, a different material. Is it? Oh, it's soft. These things are soft. Sophie keeps them in her room. Even so, even Gabby has stuffies on her bed. Yeah, soon I'll have a puppy in my bed. <laughs> Hopefully. It won't sleep with you for the first, like, weeks. I don't know, we'll see. Lovie and I tried to get Daisy to sleep with me. She was just playing the whole time. I know, dogs in your bed at the beginning are, yeah, yeah are awful. My bed she got shocked by it. I know. I get shocked by it. All right, show them your chocolate. So uh, she got that and she got some chocolate. Some more chocolate. Some hair dye that she was dying for. Some makeup. More makeup. More makeup. And a makeup mirror. So she got, that was her this Valentine's Day haul. Brand. That was her Valentine's Day haul. Gabby over here has chocolate. She's not up yet. And then she got something from Sam. I'll show you guys what it is when she opens it. Hopefully Wait, she likes it. it. I'm also gonna give Gabby a little bit of money because she doesn't like stuff. Sophie likes stuff. Gabby does not like stuff. She just likes a little bit of stuff. And she's going someplace soon where she's going to need a lot of money because it's going to be someplace where she likes the stuff. So I'm going to give her money to keep for her trip. So uh, good morning, guys. Welcome to today. Today, huh, it's been a bit of a rush. It's Valentine's Day. Did you get some chocolate, Sam? Oh, yeah, I got chocolate. A lot of chocolate? Yeah, yeah that one's yours, too. We got something so cool in the mail today. And Sam's gonna shoot it, and we're gonna shoot it and show you guys probably tomorrow. I'm not sure, but it is really cool. I can't wait to see it. I can't wait to open the box. Can't wait for it too. Actually, my truck. Something for Sam's truck? Yeah, that's where it's going. It's early in the morning, I swear. It's been like a whirlwind of a day. I'm gonna show you a couple of things before we get going out. We're headed out to see if we can find any horses for sale today. We just like to see. One of the other things that I have left over from Macy is this bag and I found it in the basement again and I washed it up. I got it all ready. There's like a little cushion in there and then this little baby blanket that is not in my color scheme. Somebody is really upset that we're using pink for her that I'm using pink for whatever puppy I get and I apologize um it's super cool you guys have seen bags like this before it has the drop down side it has the pockets that you can put all your stuff in which I'm going to fill it with stuff so when I go to pick up a puppy this will be the bag that I take with me so I'll put like some you know treats and some water I have like a water Thing that I can take for her. I'm also going to take a pee pad and the reason is is that I want her to be able to go to the bathroom on the way home if, if it's far. We've done a lot of far traveling for puppies in the past. Every time I see Sam kiss him with the dogs. <laughs> he loves dogs. He loves the dogs. They love him. Are you excited for a new puppy? No. <laughs> Are you going to get a kitten? No. People were mad at me because they thought I said you couldn't get it. Oh, I'm not, I decided I'm not going to get one. But would I let you get it? Yeah. Obviously, if I get a puppy, it won't be fully vaccinated. It will probably be started on its vaccinations. And so we've always run in the past. We've always run into a problem in the past where we've driven like a long way before to get a puppy. Lots of times. We've always run into this problem where we, they need to go to the bathroom and they can never go outside because they're not fully vaccinated. So I always like to pack a pee pad in there so that they can go like in our car or whatever. 
uh, not the best situation obviously but in case of emergency you got to do what you got to do and keep them safe so our eggs that are in the incubator are I think uh, eight days nine days old eight or nine anyway I have this book it's called ridiculously good ideas it is a little dirty but it's where I put all my YouTube ideas and stuff the back of this book I'm gonna chart my eggs so normally I take notes when they hatch, but I don't take notes before they hatch. So I wrote like, I wrote down all the egg colors that we have. I'll show you guys. I thought it could be useful to know which eggs, which chickens came out of which eggs. So I wrote down every egg color, and then I'm gonna record what color of chick came out of that egg. And I don't know if you guys can see better, but these three are really light green. This is a really light green. And this is like, I don't know if I'd call it blue. You guys can't really see. It's like a greeny blue. So these are all of our eggs for this year. And I wrote down, so I'm taking better notes for our eggs this year. My incubator beeps if the lid is off too long. But Sylvia and I are gonna try and candle them this uh, tonight. Clearly I am getting super prepared foot over it. Alright, so we are late to the trend, but Gabby was just doing this. Okay, do it. My wrists are bending and they hurt. Okay, so is that how you have to hold it? Um, I forget what to do now. No. I forget you what have to, to do. You have to step oh, yeah, over it. My phone. I did! I stepped over it. See? You have to step over it with two feet. No, then you have to put it over your body. Grab my phone, Sabia. Two feet. Alright, this is insane. We need to see this. Okay, over your head. Uh, under your foot. No, you put your foot. Ah, no, that's how you do it. Oh, okay. Yeah, you put it over your arm and then over. Okay. I'm not going to be able to do it. You can. I believe in you. I'm not. She put her foot. I got to figure this out. Oh, I see. Yeah, you can do it. I can't. I'm not flexible. Put your arms down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gabby falls. <laughs> I'm not flexible. Hey, she hasn't fallen in a long time. Hello. Okay, so Sophie and I are at the auction and there's no parking, it's packed. There might be horses. And we never come to this part. We had to park over here. Aw. And there's like an outside pen with cows. We've never seen that before. You're really cute. We were gonna walk over to them, but they ran away. There's donkeys. There's donkeys. Oh, look at all the babies. Sophie spotted them like right away. Oh, he's cute. Wow. What's that sound coming from? Oh, it's coming from this pig. I usually see them laying down. You are huge. And scary. Call dad. Call dad. It's time to get a donkey. Oh, you are so adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're really cute. Obviously they're handled well. Oh, look at she's the boss. Is that a girl? I don't know. How do you tell the sex of a donkey? Same way for horses? <laughs> I don't know. Can you get them? Okay, let's get them. Yes. You're really cute. You're cute too. Look at how cute wanted. they are. Because there's donkeys. There's donkeys. Are they? You're not. So these, they're not very big. Is this like how full? So we can get a donkey. Oh, look at you. They look like. We're getting a donkey. <laughs> getting a donkey. <laughs> no, we're not getting a donkey, but they're really cute. All right, bye. Uh, hi, little donkey. Oh, you're really cute. Oh. We just saw somebody we know here. Hi. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Do you know why he's upset? Because this one's pushing him off. I bet you he's a boy. Let's look. That moment when you can't tell the sex because the belly's too big. You've got too big of a belly. But I bet you this is a girl. Girls are always the boss. But I don't know. They smell that I have treats in my pocket. I can't give you a treat, I'm sorry. Why do you think it's a boy? You see stuff that I don't see? I think it's a boy that looks like some, some junk in the trunk down there. I don't know. Uh, 
Yeah, that's a boy. There's a lot of junk down there. This is a girl, but isn't it always the way? Like the girl, it's always the boss. All right, let's I move on. Let's move on. Let's go look at the goats. Oh, these are cute they ones. They might not have enough room for these ones. Look I, at, I want look, that little one look, right there. Oh, it's cute. I like that brown one. Look at, they all have like some kind of fancy mark on their head. I want that one. Oh, look at that plain one. It's really cute. Hi, baby. Hello. And then there's one lone sheep. I don't know how the one sheep got in there with all the goats. Probably because it came with them. Yeah, it probably came with them. There's a lot of Mennonite here today. They are. Really cute. And you're so cute too. Remember? Remember that time no. you were... <laughs> Guys, there's a video on our channel where Sophie had an altercation with a sheep just like that and it was hilarious. Everyone's gonna go watch that. Yeah, everybody should go watch that. You were young. Sophie, you were young. You can't help it. I know Sandy remembers. Every time I see sheep here... That's scary. Oh, because he's got teeth. Looks like he's about ready to bite. Ooh. <laughs> it's okay. More sheep. More sheep. Are you coming to say hi? More sheep. No. There's a black sheep. Babies. Oh no. my god. That is a goat. No, it's not. It looks like a goat. Is it? I don't know. It looks like a goat. It's with a sheep, but today they have everything all mixed up. I think it's a sheep. It has a sheep face. Hi. Just not the sheep regular sheep it must be like an angora sheep or some other kind of fancy sheep it's probably not an angora sheep but it's some fancy sheep it looks like things are starting to get busy now it looks like things are starting to get busy because there's a lot more people here a lot more animals than there have been oh yeah you're cute i've always dreamed of goats so we i've always dreamed like of having a hobby farm like we have our whole lives Sam and I and I always Cashews. knew that I would have Is it a girl or little um Hello. I think it's a girl so sweet. we always dream of having goats and horses and chickens and now that I've gotten older I know that I want a pig or I think I want a pig like a pot belly pig you know a small one you can't eat my fingers you're really cute too oh you stink he says but then, once we got like horses and chickens, I'm like, eh, I can wait. The donkey's already so old. The donkeys are so old. Let's go back to those. Let's, let's leave. I like animals that are different. I like people that are different. So there's like the vendor was here. There's a vendor. They usually have like a big yard sale outside and it's gorgeous today. And there is a yard sale. And <laughs> I wanted to be <laughs> So Sophie's looking at the knives because she likes to like, when you're a farm person, you suddenly you need- You started that, you picked it up. Yeah. You picked, you cut so it with yours. We use them like to cut the hay bales and for other stuff around the barn. Lately, she's been opening packages with her little knife. But anyway, she was looking at the knives. And then I picked up these beads. I was just looking at them. And then the man came and gave them to Sophie as a gift. <laughs> and she was so embarrassed. So she tried to put them back down and he's like, no, they're for you. And she's like, help. <laughs> the donkeys are sold and guess who's here? Scott. So the guy that was running the table over there, he gave these beads to Sophie for free. And she is like so embarrassed. She didn't know what to do with them. So she tried to put them back down on the table and he's like, no, no. And he picks them up and he gives them back to her. And she's like, <laughs> like a deer in headlights. She's like, oh my goodness, <laughs> I don't know what to do. So we just said thank you and then we left with them. But yeah, we got some beads for free. That was so kind. Isn't that nice? Like that one's really cute. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's February, right? So uh -huh. yeah. New Orleans used to give out beads there, don't they? Oh, wow. <laughs> he does not seem like he's from New Orleans. But did you guys know? It is Mardi Gras, I think. So, um, this is, today is Sam and my anniversary. We're 16 years married. Uh, how many years together? 24 years together. 16 years married and 24 years together. 24 years together. Wow, one more year, you guys, and we'll have been together for 25 years. That's silver. Silver. A silver anniversary. Yeah. That means I have to buy a silver horse. <laughs> I would love a 
silver horse. Silver saddle pad. <laughs> you guys heard it here. He's gonna buy me a silver horse next year. Every time Sam gets hay, he leaves a bunch outside. How does it get out here? Do you know, Gabby? It falls. It falls. It, it falls, she says. I am trying to decide if I should, if we should take this little area part that we had for Honey when she was first isolating. Every time the snow melts and it starts to get warm outside, I always get like really excited to spring clean and I want to get everything cleaned up. I'm trying to decide if we should rip that apart. Sam built that for Honey so uh, she could isolate. There's like a big space between this and the mare's winter field so they couldn't touch each other. And it's really secure and I just think like we could get something and put it in there. But I don't want to get something and put it in there so then I'm thinking like I should rip it up so that I don't be tempted so I'm not tempted. Hello ladies. Anyway tomorrow is the day. It's the day that we're going to come and clean up the field and we're going to clean up the arena and we're going to clean up the barn but Sam says it's supposed to rain so I have to check into that. I definitely want to get it done but if it rains we'll actually have no snow. Look you guys. Literally the snow is disappearing so fast. Oh, before I forget, I wanted to tell you guys, um, a bunch of people were saying and that Sophie should go to beginner classes for horseback riding because she was cautious on the trail yesterday. I was leading her until she felt more comfortable. Um, the reason that I was leading her was because she was worried about the footing. I think one thing I've never said to you guys before, I've never explained, and I should have. I don't even know why I've never explained it. Sophie's exactly like me in terms of how she's such a cautious person. When she was like a little girl, like one and a half, we went sledding for the first time. One and a half? Or just a little, yeah, one and a half almost. I don't even remember that. She was about 16 months, I think, 15 or 16 months, and it was a really nice day, and we went sledding. I put her on my lap and I went down the sled with her and when we got to the bottom of the hill she looked up at me and was like, why would you do that to me? Why would you put me through that? And I'm the same way and that's something that people who are not cautious wouldn't understand. I used to always think that people who are not cautious like Gabby don't think things through. So if I used to think that way about Gabby and Sam, like you guys aren't worried enough or you don't think enough or you don't care enough then it makes sense to me that some people would think that we care too much or we think too much. And it's true, we definitely are thinking people who are always making sure we're cautious. We're like so cautious. She wouldn't even drive in the front seat of the car until just like a few months ago. She just started to randomly feel comfortable sitting in the front seat of the car because it wasn't the safest spot. I know there are a lot of other people out there. I think not very many people like Sophie and I ride horses for obvious reasons. But being a little, but being cautious and taking care that you don't put yourself in a dangerous situation or a situation that could go badly doesn't mean that you don't have skill to ride. It doesn't mean that you aren't able to ride and it's not bad in any way shape or form we all are who we are you guys and god gives you the things the personality traits that you need for the life that you're meant to, to live and i'm okay with that Whoa. <laughs> that was really cute you know i want you close Go outside and eat your lunch. She's like, well, Go outside and eat your lunch. Oh man, this pony is so cute. She's too much fluff. No, I love her fluff. Sophie had a dream last night that Honey started shedding and she had a crooked stripe down her face. Oh, I know you're gonna be the girl that I'll end up calling my own. We ride around in style, sleeves rolled up, glasses on. And then you make that smile and my heart starts racing when I'm with you. The other thing that I wanted to tell you guys today that I've been thinking about is that when we first started horses and we first started with horses, this is kind of in the same line of how Sophie and I are cautious. Everything about horses was really scary to me. You guys know, some of you guys know that I was really scared of horses and I hated horses. And the reason I didn't like them is because I saw and I could feel 
horses were so broken down. Like every horse that we ever met, almost every horse that we ever met was broken down, was like, always could never understand that, why that happened, but they always seemed so unhappy. And lately something has flipped inside of me. Like in the last year, year and a half, something flipped and I'm never scared anymore. Like I never am nervous of horses and like leading Penny onto the trailer back and forth and being in the arena with the littles. None of that scares me anymore. Like. I don't know what happened and I, I just started thinking that our horses were way more gentle than when we first got them. They're way more gentle and calm and kind and quiet and I don't think that's true. I think it's like something that shifted inside of me. One thing is for sure though, I am enjoying our horses so much. So today is our anniversary and we talked about going out to eat but I decided that I wanted to stay in so Sam went and got all this sushi and we're gonna sit together and watch a movie and hang out. Actually super excited, this is a lot of sushi. Sam, you bought a lot of sushi. Yeah. I'm excited though, I've hardly eaten anything all day, waiting up for sushi night. I wanted to take a second and wish you guys all a happy Valentine's Day, a happy love day, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful?